Good morning and welcome to this hearing of the Committee on Governmental Operations. I'm Council Member Ben Kalos, Chair of the Committee. As always, you can tweet me at Ben Kalos. Today we are holding a second hearing and vote on proposed introduction 508A that I've authored in relation to online voter registration. Right now in the state of New York, there is no universal online voter registration. The New York State Department of Motor Vehicles operates a voter registration website, but users are required to have a driver's license or state-issued non-driver ID particularly for a city like New York City where so many of our residents rely on mass transit rather than cars, too many eligible voters are excluded from being able to register or update their registration online. There needs to be a universal online voter registration portal and we're creating one today. Proposed introduction 508A will require the Campaign Finance Board to create and operate a secure website and a mobile app that would allow any individual qualified to vote in the City of New York to confidentially submit the information collected on a voter registration form. This is in keeping with the Campaign Finance Board's requirement under the Charter through the Voter Assistance Advisory Committee to, quote, facilitate voter registration and voting by all residents of New York City who are eligible to vote, end quote. The information collected in would include the applicant's signature, which is required to be of quality and likeness compar comparable to a signature written with ink, which may include use with permission of the signature ready on file. Uh, in addition, you could sign with a stylus and digital stylus if you've been to the DMV race recently. There is no paper at the DMV. You sign electronically for a license. Uh, additionally, this is the similar case in most modern parts of society. All the notices and information contained on or accompanying a printed voter registration form would be viewable by the applicant along with additional information on timeframes and deadlines. Upon receipt, the Campaign Finance Board will be required to transmit this information to the New York City Board of Elections through a method consistent with New York State, Board of New York State Election Law. The bill would also require development of an application program interface, or API, to allow approved third-party programs to admit, transmit voter registration information to the Campaign Finance Board so that voter registration can be as widely available as possible. Uh, agent, and so in keeping the idea would be if you had an app like let's say Uber or Seamless that most New Yorkers have, more people use those than perhaps are registered to vote in our city. And if all of those folks registered to vote, uh, we would see more. And uh, I, I, am, I am guessing at the number of uh, users for those, but uh, it seems like everyone uses them. Agencies covered by the agency-based voter registration law would also be required to link to the website and mobile application. Finally, the bill requires reporting on its implementation. I want to take a moment to thank New York State Attorney General, Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, uh, or as Samantha B. calls Schneiderman, and his staff for their advocacy and expertise on this issue. And I'd also like to thank the New York City Campaign Finance Board for embracing the concept of this bill and working with us to make it a reality. So I want to thank the committee's counsel, Brad Reed, policy analyst Elizabeth Cronk, finance analyst Zach Harris, and my legislative director, Paul Westrick, for all their work on this bill. I also want to thank uh, the Drupal development community as well as those behind the web forms module. I use both pieces of software to build a working test uh, in a couple of hours that I hereby gift to the Campaign Finance Board and City of New York because it's free and open source software. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my colleagues on the committee for their advocacy. Uh, first person here today was uh, Council Member Joe Borelli, uh, followed by Richie Torres, followed by David Greenfield, uh, followed by Antonio Reynoso. I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Governmental Operations, Introduction 508A, Chair Kalos. Proudly vote aye. Greenfield. Congratulations, Chair Kalos, on an innovative, common sense piece of legislation. I vote aye as well. Reynoso. I vote aye. Borelli. As a former member of the Voter Assistance and Advisory Committee, I take full credit for this bill, uh, and I vote aye. Thank you for your service on the uh, Voter Advisory Commission, and we uh, hope that the uh, Republican Commissioner from uh, Staten Island will take a similar position. Torres. I vote a five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you.
hereby adjourn this meeting of the Committee on Governmental Operations.